Weird Science is the revolution. Hello, all you weirdos. Jim here, and we have some breaking news. And this is something that we talked a teeny bit about in our review about Joe Kelly taking over The Amazing Spider-Man, mainly because that was leaked in an advert for this new Moon Knight book. And this is straight off the wire from Marvel. And here it goes. Mark Spector returns in surprise comic book Moon Knight, Fist of Conchu number zero. Uh, Even in that video about Joe Kelly taking over, there were some people who actually commented on this Moon Knight book saying, really, we're we're redoing Moon Knight again. We're renumbering this again. It's something that Marvel does a lot. Most of the time, though, in my opinion, it's a book that isn't doing well. People aren't liking. I mean, one of the biggest ones when I started reading was Squirrel Girl that you, you had like three number ones in a year. But they've done it with a lot of different books. This one, I think people will be a little more, you know, not so mad about because it is the whole deal of Jed McKay and Moon Knight. But this actually makes me kind of more upset about that kind of trade that we had Vengeance of the Moon Knight stuff that just didn't seem to do much. It ended up we had a lot of therapy sessions with the Midnight Mission, but the whole idea of the Shroud being. The Moon Knight just kind of seems odd now, and it just seemed to set up things in Blood Hunt, which will be mentioned in this press release, because if you haven't read Blood Hunt number four, there is going to be spoilers a bit for that issue, so you might want to come back and listen to it later. You've been warned. Here we go. Following Mark Spector's triumphant return in Blood Hunt number four, Jed McKay and Alessandro Capuccio's acclaimed run on Moon Knight continues this October. And Moon Knight, Fist of Conchu, number one. Now, I think we're going to get a bunch of new number ones or zeros because this is a zero issue. But I think we're going to get something with Doctor Strange as well. I'm kind of expecting to get that news probably today or tomorrow would be my guess. But here is this. In today's post-pounding blood hunt number four, the tide of battle shifted thanks to the intervention of the newly freed Conchu who unleashed his army of past Moon Knights on the vampire hordes, including his most recent fallen avatar, Mark Spector. With Mark Spector resurrected, a new phase of Moon Knight storytelling begins this October in Moon Knight Fist of Country Number 1. The new series is the latest evolution of Jed McKay and Alessandro Capuccio's redefining run that began in 2021's Moon Knight and continued in the wake of Mark's death and the current vengeance of the Moon Knight series. Again, I was not really pumped up for that also i'll tell you this press release they actually had to send a couple corrections in this so bear with me to herald the launch comic shops received a special surprise shadow drop variant edition of moon knight fist of country number one or number zero this week this unannounced issue follows up on the events of blood hunt number four and not only is it an essential chapter it is also a perfect starting point for readers who want to jump into one of the hottest modern marvel sagas the issue underscores the scope of McCann Capuccio's riveting take on the Moon Knight mythos by spotlighting the now iconic crew of the Midnight Mission, shedding light on recent developments, and setting the stage for Mark Spector's next era. This week, retailers just see the variant cover. They keep going with that, but they can immediately order copies of the issue featuring a main cover by E.M. Gist to be delivered for a July 3rd on sale date. Again, this comes out of a scene. In Blood Hunt number four, which I have the review on our channel. And when that scene came, it it didn't really hit for me. I do like Jeb McKay's Moon Knight. Not the biggest fan now. I was more of an earlier fan, but I think he does some good work there. But even coming into this, but it didn't feel big. You kind of just sat there and like, okay, I think that's Mark. That's kind of cool. It just kind of is these well moments. And that's kind of what I end up thinking Blood Hunt has been. Big moments that don't feel so big because they're just crammed together. They're not well set up and they don't really have space to breathe. But I think people will be excited to have Mark back, even though the little bit that we had, he wasn't gone for too long. And that was kind of just, I don't know, that whole shroud thing and that whole the vengeance of the Moon Knight. I believe that that story will kind of fade away. I think that'll be one that people forget if, especially if this you know, Fist of Conchu 
ends up working out and being good. But this might be one of those resets that will do Jed McKay some good having Khonshu back. It continues full moon rising as an avatar and agent of the Egyptian god of the moon, Khonshu, former mercenary Mark Spector, has died and come back to life on more than one occasion. To the ignorant, his fate beyond death's grasp may seem idyllic. Uh, is that the reader they're saying? Or me? But being chosen as a fist's fist is plural because of the hunter's moon of Khonshu comes with a heavy cost. And like bones in a street fight, Mark Spector and the multitudes he contains may be about to break. You know, bones in a street fight. Here is a quote from Jeb McKay. The father freed, the son returned. Mark Spector, Jake Lockley, and Stephen Grant hit the streets once more as Moon Knight. So you have more than one. That's also the plural, I guess. And he's making up for lost time. Felt like about a hot afternoon. So he's got to make up. But it might not be that much to make up. McKay shared. The streets have changed since Moon Knight died. Maybe they changed the street names. And I'm excited to explore how he deals with all new threats to his territory, along with fellow Moon Knight missionaries Alexandro Capuccio, Rachel Rosenberg, and Dev Mala Apromenic. Moon Knight Fist of Country number 1 marks the 40th issue of Our Time with Moon Knight, and we've got plenty more that we're looking forward to sharing with you, but no quote about how many will be Number one issues We'll have to see Maybe we're in store for Five more number ones And a couple of zeros uh, We'll see We'll see how it goes Hopefully this one sticks And that is the news item And again Me personally I read digitally And quite frankly I read the books to review them I'm not collecting them So changing numbers cha- That never really affects me As much as people who do collect The physical stuff And the it is one of those things where when people say to me, I realize it's an issue with you. Like, where am I going to put that? When I'm going to do this on my shelf? I have no physical copies. So the idea of changing it up is just kind of annoying just because Marvel does it a lot. And they end up trying to, like, oof everybody. Like, oh, you didn't read the Vengeance of the Moon Knight? Well, Mark's back. And here we go. And you lose people each time, in my mind. You know, each time you kind of water down the deal of people saying, well, I didn't read that Vengeance of the Moon Knight, so I won't read this. Or, okay, I'm already done. It gives people that opportunity to actually think things through and think that they really do need it. Though I do think that while it doesn't really feel like there's, I don't feel hype around the idea of Mark Spector back because, number one, Everybody knew Shroud wasn't going to continue being a fake Moon Knight anyway. And so you're just waiting for it. You're just waiting for him to return. And he returns in the event, as I said, in a page that looked kind of cool, but really didn't hit for me. It just ended up feeling, oh, another big scene. Oh, I get it. Oh, here we go. So we'll have to see. I'll have to see what people say. And please let me know what you do think. Let me know what you think of all this. Are you going to be getting this? Are you looking forward? Are you pumped? Is this a thing you've been waiting for? Whatever. But let me know in the comments. I am kind of like, okay, I'll read and review it and see how it is when it gets here in October. But a couple big books coming in October. As I said, I'm expecting to have an announcement in the next couple of days of possibly or maybe a week or so or what not of Dr. Doom being the new Sorcerer Supreme to kick off that series, something that Jed McKay himself had set up in his Timeless book. So we'll have to see, and really was pushing it in the Blood Hunt number four. So spoilers done. Hey, everybody, welcome back for the end. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying the videos on the channel as I shift more into a kind of news, and I'll get some more editorial type of things, but I'll still have a couple of reviews, even though it seems like, as I was told, that reviews don't work on YouTube. But we'll see. We'll see if we can make those work as well. But thanks, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. You are all weirdos. Weird science is the revolution. Weird science is the revolution.